Most people in life expect that their computers of their own purchase, their own receipt as a present, or their own findings with God's help will be left alone by other people. I'm actually sitting here working on my life, producing portfolio for my company, listing myself as responsible for my opinions as a journalist, as a commentarist, if you will, and as an opinionist. We have opinion columns in newspapers. We have opinion columns online in other publications. And a man who's a journalist has a right to write an opinion. Everything I speak is an opinion based on my experience in life. But while I'm seated here, while I'm working here, while I'm uploading here through free Wi-Fi, which is, according to the President, something that people are allowed to have safely in this land, someone is playing on my computer, changing its system operation, adjusting the size of my icons, deleting my content, and I'm looking at the company that I'm utilizing freely, that is offered freely, a place that I buy products from when I have the budget or when I have the reason to do so. And I'm looking at who in their employee set is thinking they have rights to my computer. The liars of America are the players of games. The liars of America never learn where their boundaries begin and end. And the liars of America usually end up dead for stupid antics and stupid acts that they commit against people like me, people like you, people like people in your family. It is true.